In the world of hip-hop, few names carry the weight of Scarface. A pioneer of southern rap, his gritty lyrics and raw storytelling have made him a legend. But beyond the music, Scarface's life has been a roller coaster of triumphs and struggles. From dominating the charts to facing unexpected financial challenges, including a shocking bankruptcy, Scarface's journey is far from ordinary. What does life look like for the man who once stood at the top of the rap game? In today's video, we'll take you inside Scarface's world, his career highs, the luxurious home he built, and the financial hurdles that tested his resilience. Stay tuned as we uncover the real story behind the fame, fortune, and the surprising twists that shaped Scarface's legacy. Scarface, a well-known American rapper and record producer, currently has a net worth of negative $100,000. While many might expect his financial standing to be higher, Scarface has faced significant financial difficulties in recent years. These troubles began in 2010 when he was sentenced to nearly a year in prison for allegedly owing $123,000 in child support to four different women. His legal battles continued in 2015 when he was arrested again on similar charges, moments after accepting an award at the Black Entertainment Television Hip Hop Awards. In 2018, he was sued once more, further compounding his financial struggles. Additionally, Scarface has been grappling with severe health issues, which have further strained his finances and contributed to his current financial situation. Brad Terrence Jordan, better known by his stage name Scarface, was born on November 9. 1970, in Houston, Texas. His life story is one of resilience and transformation, marked by the challenges of growing up in a tough neighborhood and finding his place in the music industry. Scarface attended Woodson Junior High School in Houston, but he later dropped out of high school and found himself entangled in the world of drugs. This period of his life was marked by personal struggles, including a suicide attempt during his teenage years, which led to a stay in a psychiatric ward. A 2019 article on NPR highlighted Scarface's complex youth, describing him as a multi-instrumentalist from a long lineage of musical talent. Despite his love for heavy metal music in his early years, life on Houston's Southside exposed him to the harsh realities of street life, turning him from a troubled youth into a local drug dealer. His struggles, however, didn't define his entire life. Scarface was raised in a Christian household but later converted to Islam in 2006, reflecting his ongoing search for meaning and personal growth. Scarface's journey in music began under the name DJ Action. He started DJing and recording with Lil, Troy's shortstop record label, a Houston-based outfit that gave him his first break in the industry. However, it wasn't until he adopted the moniker, Scarface, a nod to the 1983 film of the same name, that his career truly took off. In 1989, he released the single, Scarface, Another Head Put to Rest, which caught the attention of Rap A Lot Records, a key player in the burgeoning Houston hip-hop scene. Scarface joined the label and became part of the groundbreaking rap group Ghetto Boys, a pivotal move that launched him into the national spotlight. The Ghetto Boys made their mark with their 1989 album Grip It. On that other level, which introduced Scarface's raw and introspective lyrical style to the world. The album reached number 166 on the Billboard 200 and climbed to number 19 on the top R&B, hip-hop albums chart. This success, however, was just the beginning. In 1991, the group released We Can't Be Stopped, which became a defining moment in their career. The album, Certified Platinum, peaked at number 24 on the Billboard 200 and number 5 on the top R&B, hip-hop albums chart. It featured the iconic single, Mind Playing Tricks on Me which topped the Hot Rap Songs chart and reached number 23 on the Billboard Hot 100. This track, with its haunting lyrics about paranoia and mental health, cemented the Ghetto Boys' reputation for pushing boundaries and addressing difficult themes in their music. Scarface's contributions to the Ghetto Boys continued to fuel their success throughout the 1990s. In 1993, they released Till Death Do Us Part, which achieved gold status and topped the top R&B, hip-hop albums chart. The album produced two top 10 singles on the Hot Rap Songs chart, Crooked Officer, which peaked at number 4, and Six Feet Deep, which reached number 2. The group's ability to blend gritty street narratives with thought-provoking social commentary resonated with a wide audience. Further solidifying their place in hip-hop history, Scarface's third solo album, The Diary, 1994, was a breakthrough moment. It achieved platinum status and reached number 2 on the top R&B, hip-hop albums chart. Its success was a testament to his evolving artistry and ability to connect with a broad audience, offering both introspective lyrics and hard-hitting beats. The Ghetto Boys' momentum carried into the latter part of the decade. In 1996, they released The Resurrection, 
another gold-certified album that hit number one on the top R&B, hip-hop albums chart. By 1997, Scarface released The Untouchable, which also went platinum and topped the top R&B, hip-hop albums chart. The album featured collaborations with major artists, including Tupac Shakur, which helped further elevate Scarface's profile in the music industry. Their 1998 album Da Good Da Bad and Da Ugly made waves as well, peaking at number 5 on the Hot Rap Songs chart. By this time, Scarface had established himself as both a solo artist and a vital member of the group, known for his deep, introspective lyrics and ability to tackle personal and societal issues through his music. That same year, My Homies, 1998, was released, yet another platinum-certified project, reaching the top of the R&B, hip-hop chart and the top 10 of the Billboard 200. Scarface's ability to consistently release successful albums was unmatched. In 2000, he dropped the last of a dying breed, which was certified gold and climbed to number 7 on the Billboard 200, while also securing the number 2 spot on the top R&B, hip-hop albums chart. His next major success came with the release of The Fix in 2002. This album reached number 4 on the Billboard 200 and number 2 on the top R&B, hip-hop albums chart, further cementing his status as a heavyweight in the rap industry. Scarface continued to release highly regarded albums throughout the 2000s. My Homies Part 2, 2006, Made, 2007, Emeritus, 2008, and Deeply Rooted, 2015, all reached the top four on the top R&B, hip-hop albums chart, showcasing his enduring relevance in the constantly evolving hip-hop landscape. Throughout his solo career, Scarface delivered several top 10 hits on the Hot Rap Songs chart, including standout tracks like, Let Me Roll, I Seen a Man Die, Smile, featuring Tupac Shakur and Johnny P, and Guess Who's Back, featuring Jay-Z and Beanie Siegel. These songs not only showcased his versatility but also demonstrated his ability to collaborate with some of the biggest names in the industry, further expanding his influence and reach. Next, let's explore his current private residence right now. House in Houston, Texas. In the heart of Houston, Texas, legendary rapper Scarface has found a new place to call home. Scarface resides in a beautifully appointed home he rented in recent years. This impressive residence boasts four spacious bedrooms and three well-appointed bathrooms, providing ample space for comfort and relaxation. With a generous area of 3,945 square feet, the home is situated on a large corner lot within a desirable master plan community, where tranquility meets convenience. The home's architecture is striking, characterized by high and vaulted ceilings that create an inviting atmosphere. This meticulous attention to detail can be seen throughout the residence, from the elegant finishes to the thoughtful layout designed for both privacy and entertainment. The spacious living area is a highlight, featuring stunning hardwood floors that lend warmth and sophistication to the space. At the center of this inviting area lies a wood-burning fireplace, complete with gas hookups. Offering a cozy ambiance perfect for gatherings or quiet evenings, the kitchen is a chef's delight, designed with both functionality and style in mind. An expansive island serves as a focal point, providing ample room for meal preparation and casual dining. The abundance of cabinetry and counter space ensures that storage is never a concern, making it an ideal space for Scarface to whip up culinary creations or entertain guests. Upstairs, the home continues to impress with four large bedrooms that prioritize privacy. Each room is designed to offer a serene retreat, allowing for rest and relaxation after a long day. Additionally, the two spacious game rooms provide excellent entertainment options, featuring a projector and dedicated screen for movie nights or gaming sessions. This thoughtful design makes the home not just a place to live, but a sanctuary where Scarface can unwind and connect with friends and family. Philanthropy, rapper associated with Houston Icon, has made significant strides not only in music but also in philanthropy through his organization. The Paid in Full Foundation, this foundation serves as a tribute to the hip-hop legends who have profoundly impacted the culture yet often lack the financial recognition they deserve. Recently, Scarface and fellow hip-hop icon Rakim were honored by the foundation, which is set to provide an impressive grant of $500,000, along with health benefits to support these influential artists. Beyond this initiative, Scarface is actively engaged in campaigns that raise awareness about pressing health issues, particularly focusing on mental health and substance abuse. His dedication to using his platform to effect positive change underscores his commitment to giving back to the community and ensuring that those who paved the way for future generations receive the recognition and support they need. Personal life. However, behind the scenes, his personal life has often been shrouded in controversy and complexity. Currently, 
Scarface is married to Melissa Lalise, and together they have a son named Brad Jordan, who has autism. In total, Scarface is a father to five children. However, his journey as a father has not been without its challenges. In early 2011, reports emerged indicating that the Houston rap legend was failing to meet his child support obligations, which were owed to four different women. One of these women, Lisa Varner, came forward with her own allegations of parental neglect, revealing that Scarface had never met their eight-year-old daughter in person. Varner, who has openly discussed her relationship with Scarface, claimed that the rapper had initially provided $800 a month in support but ceased payments when she asked him to acknowledge his paternity. This lack of support and presence has reportedly had a profound impact on their daughter, affecting her emotionally in ways that are difficult to quantify. Varner's situation was not unique Scarface's history of inconsistent payments and his struggles with mental health have painted a troubling picture of his role as a father. In 2011, he was ordered to pay just $148 a month in child support and an additional $30 in medical expenses. An arrangement that has not only been insufficient but also sporadically fulfilled. As tensions escalated, Varner sought a court hearing to increase the monthly support and settle a significant debt of over $6,000 that Scarface owed. On top of these familial challenges, Scarface has faced severe personal battles of his own. Diagnosed with bipolar disorder, he has struggled with mental health issues since childhood, including multiple suicide attempts. His health challenges have persisted into adulthood, leading to complications that have necessitated serious medical interventions. In March 2020, Scarface contracted COVID-19, a diagnosis that would drastically alter the course of his life. The rapper faced severe complications from the disease, suffering for over a year and ultimately leading to organ failure. This health crisis culminated in a desperate plea on social media in October 2020, when he turned to Twitter to ask for a kidney donation. His request underscored not only the severity of his condition but also the very real health risks that many have faced during the pandemic. Fortunately, his son, Chris Jordan, stepped up, becoming a living donor and giving Scarface a kidney in a remarkable act of love and sacrifice. In late August 2024, Scarface found himself hospitalized once again. He shared a photo on social media showing him being cared for by a hospital staff member, accompanied by a caption that simply read, ouch, along with three praying hands emojis and the word, grateful. While he did not disclose the specifics of his condition, the image resonated with fans and the hip-hop community. Reminding them of the ongoing health challenges he has faced, Scarface's post quickly garnered an outpouring of support from fellow artists and fans alike, with celebrities such as DJ Premier, Manny Fresh, E-40, DJ Quick, Twista, 3-6 Mafia, and Crazy Bone expressing their well wishes and hoping for his speedy recovery. This communal display of solidarity illustrates the deep respect and admiration his peers hold for him, highlighting the close-knit nature of the hip-hop community. In a world where the pressures of fame can often lead to isolation, Scarface's experiences remind us of the power of connection, family, and the support of a community that truly cares. As fans and fellow artists rally around him during difficult times, Scarface's legacy is not only a hip-hop icon but also a symbol of strength and resilience continues to grow. If you enjoyed exploring the highs and lows of his life, please consider supporting the channel by liking this video, subscribing for more content, and sharing your thoughts in the comments. Your engagement helps us continue bringing you fascinating insights into the lives of your favorite stars. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.